Well, it is what it is. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Um, the Sober Mesa Dunbarton. Dunbarton has some really interesting cigars. Um, some cigars I personally enjoy. And some cigars that I'm not crazy about. I guess it depends on, you know, uh, your, your, your preference, I guess. What you enjoy. Um, this, you know, I, I really enjoy the Umba God. The Makiras, they're, they're, they're fun little cigars, they're nice stuff. Um, I did not like the Stillwell, like at all. So if you like that, hey, we don't agree. Um, the Total Los Diaz was hit or miss. The last time I had it, I did not like it really. But then I think, well, there was the other one. The other one, other one. They, did, oh, the, they had some consistency issues. What was that one? with them. Not the Total Steel, the other one. Sin Compromiso. I remember the first time having it, I, I really thought it was really good. Uh, and the last time, I, I think, I've had it a few times where like, it was like, is that the same cigar? So it is what it is with that. This is very well made. Uh, the cap is very nice. Um, this is, it says Civil Race, but I believe this is the Brulee. The Brule, I believe this is the Brulee. Not to be confused with the stronger original version of the Silver Mesa. The Brulee changes the wrapper to a, a lighter, weaker wrapper, um, a shade grown, and it gets rid of the Pennsylvania Lajero that was in the original Silver Mesa and replaces it with just more of the Seco, the same tobacco that was in the original, but they just increased the, the Seco and got rid of the Lajero. So, have I had this before? I think I have. I think I have. And I think I remember enjoying it. I don't know if I reviewed it. I can't remember. So therefore, whether I reviewed it or not, I'm just gonna be brutally honest either way. You know, I can't lie to you guys. It's this Toro. It's a big fat cigar. It's a six by 52, I believe. It's, it's got a lot of tobacco for its size. Uh, though it doesn't feel super heavy. Um, but it has a rather full pack. Yeah. Now, when you look at a cigar like this, what do you expect? I am expecting it to be very smooth, very delicious, probably not that strong. Uh, I match my eye. That's still a good match, so. Let's try to reuse that match. A little windy outside right now, soft, gentle heat. Can't stress it enough. The aromatics off the foot are nice. Nice flavor. Be careful with the lighter shade wrapper. You know, you can really over torch it, especially with the torch. At worst, when you the match, you might just mar it up a little bit, but that's okay. It's not gonna hurt it. It's just gonna maybe look a little dirty, but. It's just easier to use the a lighter to light up the match. No chance of breaking it. I've had some of these stupid matches break upon lighting. I mean, break upon lighting. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay. Now, initial impression, creamy, quite nice. A long finish, but not a strong finish. Initial impression for a lighter shade cigar. Not that I'm say I'm gonna say it's a strong cigar, but it has good character um, and it's putting out what it what it's going to be off the bat. There wasn't a long buildup of nothing. It's a nice medium strength off the bat. Not strong, but a nice medium strength. Maybe 55% darkness. I'd say almost 60, but 
it feels a little darker than like most Connecticut shades you might have around 50, but it does not feel like a sun grown or something like that. The smoky, you can tell it's very smooth, definitely have a good age. Um, and it, you can definitely tell it is a nice blend. You could have great tobacco and a poor choice of, of a combination. Um, it's kind of like, you know, if you had fried rice and ice cream, I don't know. Maybe somebody out there would like that, but no, you should have, I don't know, some broccoli or chicken or, I don't know, steamed vegetables. I, I get what I'm saying, though. Nice stuff, bad combination. Anyways, for, if you like lighter shade cigars or you want something very delicious, happy, a relaxing cigar, not trying to be the moment, and this is a good cigar, I could recommend this right off the bat. That's very nice. It's very happy, it's very delicious, very light. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, it's like that kind of feeling. Like, like, you know, I don't know, having a nice day. Maybe you've got a raise, you know. Oh, maybe it's only $1.50 more an hour, but like, you're like, oh, quite right. You're, you're, you're moving up. It's a nice medium strand. Nutty. White buttery, just a little bit of salt on the finish. Creamy vanilla, quite nice, quite nice. It's kind of toasty, like, uh, like bready, that's kind of nice. And just a little bit of black pepper. So, I mean, it, it, it doesn't feel like something you wouldn't, let's say, naturally get out of a shade type of cigar. However, the notes you are getting is kind of the classical notes you kind of want out of a shade cigar. Um, don't buy this if you want a strong cigar. Don't buy this if you want a dark cigar. I don't know how else to explain it. I hate when people say, oh, I smoked that cigar, but it had no, had no flavor. No, this has flavor. It's just not the flavor you were looking for, you know? So yeah, it's nice, happy, but the finish is quite nice. Sticks to the tongue as well. That's quite nice. Now, uh, rich cedar as well. So really, it has a good complexity, although not exotic complexity, but good complexity on, on what you would expect out of a high quality, light shade cigar. I'm almost positive this is the brulee because um, if it's not, I am totally wrong on this review. It just says Sober Mesa, but I threw out the cellophane. But both Sober Mesas, the regular and the brulee Sober Mesa, have a brown foot band and the same band what I can see. Um, and I've called GL twice today, but he didn't answer because he's an asshole and uh, it's okay. So um, that's fine. But after looking at the blend of the regular Silver Mesa um, and then this one, we can only assume by the look of the cigar and the flavor um, that this would be the brulee. So I guess I could find out later. Whenever we talk to Gio, but I'm pretty sure it's it's the Brulee. Um, I don't think the other one is Ecuadorian Habano. Uh, it, it, I would base everything I know about cigars. This is not Ecuadorian Habano, and this doesn't have Pennsylvania Lajero. And I like Pennsylvania Lajero. I just hope it's not too close to Ohio where they had the uh, radiation with that, tr with that train, you know, where they had that big fire. On top of that, um, I wonder if, I wonder if, um, it's like Dutch Master, is that Pennsylvania Lajero? <laughs> it's like Dutch Master, Pennsylvania tobacco. I mean, nobody knows. Nobody cares. Um, what is in my pocket? Did you ever have something in your pocket and you're not sure what it was? I'll come back. Well, 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 we're back in back. Um, no construction issues, no burn issues, no draw issues. Um, 
Uh, I see a lot of other people having issues, and maybe it's not the cigar, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's you. Maybe the killer in you is the killer in me, right? The world is a vampire. If you weren't born in the 80s and allowed to listen to music in the 90s, maybe you don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Smash a pumpkin, right? A little, a little doer's 12 air. Ooh. Dewish 12 um, is a fantastic blended scotch. Um, I highly recommend it. You can get a bottle for around 30 bucks, very affordable. Um, it's a beautiful blended scotch, 12 years, uh, that punches above its weight. Um, I prefer Dewish 12 over Johnny Black, which is, a bit, which is the Johnny Walker 12. However, when you get to Johnny Walker 15, which is a single malt blend of only four single malts, no malt whiskey uh, blended in. Um, people go crazy for Johnny Walker 15. If you can get around 50, 55 dollars, um, it's a very good deal. Overall impressions is this cigar. You have to keep it in the proper category. You can't compare a Corolla to a Tundra, you know, it's two different categories. So this is not trying to be a strong cigar. So it, it stayed at a nice medium strength, although it picked up a little bit, but it's still around medium. It hasn't even got to medium plus or medium full. So still around 55% darkness. The finish though is quite long for what it is. Uh, creamy vanilla, nutty, cedar, toasty, slight black pepper. Um, it has a nice feel to it, um, creamy. Um, that's all I can say about it. So. It is a good cigar. It's gonna get a, a 4.2, and, and I think it's a very enjoyable, lighter shade cigar, you know? I feel that Connecticut, uh, Cohiba, Connecticut is better, stronger, more complex, um, more spicy for Connecticut. If you want a strong Connecticut, get the Warhawk, um, etc. cetera. Um, the My Father Connecticut is stronger, um, but this is a, a very classy cigar. And so I, I find no fault in what it's trying to do. I think the ash is a crack. We'll give it one more puff and we'll drop it. Let's drop that. Okay. Time to go, buddy. Does it want to go? Can, sir, can you say your ABCs? So anyways, yeah, it, it was good. It was enjoyable. Um, let's see if it just dropped. No. Mom. Oh. See, when you puff on it, there's a little millisecond where the cherry gets hot and it separates, but yeah, I mean, that was a very nice ash. Very nice ash. Yeah. Nice ash. That's that. That's what it is. It's a stupid place and you know it. You're stupid if you're here, you're stupid if you're there. I guess the only thing stupider is if you go to prison, so stay low, don't go to prison, stay legit, don't commit crime, don't take it if it's not yours, stay fresh, take two showers a day, eat four prunes every night. If you wanna see your life change, if you're a grown man in your 30s or 40s, if you wanna see your life change, eat four prunes a night. I promise you in a week, my God, you're gonna be clearing out your colon. If you're not eating prunes, that first week of eating prunes, you're gonna feel better. I guarantee you're backed up. You're eating Cheetos and Ruffles and drinking soda. Cut that shit out. Drink water, cut that shit, and limit your alcohol. So that way when you have an alcoholic drink, it's special. Don't drink every day. I can't stress it enough. It was a good Connecticut cigar. 
in that realm of Connecticut, it was enjoyable. It was an amazing, ridiculous Connecticut cigar. However, I think if I had this in a skinnier size, maybe Robusto, I don't know if it comes in Corona. I don't know if it comes in Lancero. I don't know. I, I don't know. But uh, I feel it was enjoyable enough that if it was a little smaller gauge, it would have pushed what it had a little more. But that's okay. Maybe a good sunset cigar. Go for a walk in the park. So I would recommend it at 4.2.